today here in the Philippines oh. here in region 7 Cebu of the Philippines which is um, January 12 of uh, 2020 it's new year happy new year to everyone um, I will be pruning uh, the okra Okay, let's try to pick on the garden. So the tomatoes are just only this ones I left with the tomato plants because um, um, last November, I mean, I think it was um, in November did the volume of the rain became a bit much plenty and and we're supposed to um, stop the the application of water tea for like uh, the the, uh, the regular application of water tea is supposed to be stopped or if if it's going to be continued it should not be skipped because the insects are um, very rampant at those times and on rainy days because the leaves of the plants are very juicy especially the vegetables because vegetables have different supplements that, that sustain the insects so they be much prefer on vegetables and vegetables are very vulnerable and I've not been. Uh, I've been applying water tea in the VG house for only once a week, so that um, it would not be over fertilized. Though it is, it is much better if it is daily, morning and afternoon. The usual, usual practice I do here in the VG house. But since I'm very busy, it's the peak of the order because <laughs> we have homemade orders and. You know, holidays, Christmas holidays and New Year is the time where there are lots of really orders. The whole day, we have lots of coming orders, so I can take good care of the plan. So that would be, um, I will be skipping a lot of watering and the volume of the rain is very much plenty. So I just, uh, I just leave everything to the rain because the rain makes the soil humus and acidic and it um, it breaks into uh, it breaks the macronutrients into the simplest um, the simplest um, how do we it uh, the brain breaks up the nutrients and micronutrients into its simplest um, its simplest so that it can be absorbed right away by the plants and at that very time at that, that very uh, when it is very rainy then the plants are very much um, um, quicker to grow because the nutrients are being break down into its simplest um, form simplest form that's it <laughs> and it having that hard time of getting the right way a form the simplest form of the nutrients so the macronutrients and the micronutrients are being break down into a simplest form wherein it can be absorbed right away by the plants so since uh, I didn't really water the plants here even for a week or I, I just watered for just once a week and then um, on the seventh day I applied water tea uh, that potato and banana water tea potato and banana peel fermented for several days and that I use as water tea in my in the VG house here I only applied for once a week on the seventh day and it's a lot of it that I that I pour on the plant it's enough for it to defend itself 
to provide itself with leaves, with fruits, with flowers, and with healthy, um, a healthy state for a week. And the insects won't be tempted to attack on it because it's not that juicy. Because at the very moment that I put on the much volume of the water tea, the plant is able to sustain well itself. It is. It won't be. It won't be very uh, vulnerable to the insects, or it's not very juicy enough. Because if it will be regular, then it will be very juicy. <laughs> Though uh, we, we could say it's not a very economical way of applying water tea. Because if it's regular, then we can save it to two weeks. But if we make it into once a week, then um, the other week needs to be provided with another set of water. So I will, I will have to prune this one. I'll make the. I'll remain the shorter branches. Anyways, the okra is very old now. I will cut on the tall branches, this one. This one. Because the mealybugs have been attacking it. So the okra must be watered daily and must be um, baked with water. <laughs> Sprinkled with water because it's really very vulnerable with mealybugs. Mealybugs have been attacking have had been attacking this one and until now have been attacking it see the leaves are lessening because of the mealybugs i haven't looked after it i usually water it alternate days or daily and i have new okra plants okra seedlings also growing they are the seeds i've been putting many seeds there at least almost 50 but they haven't grown with a regular water teeing so when I, when the rain starts to um, increase its volume, then I applied once a week of water tea, and then the seed, uh, the seeds were triggered, and there we go, we have seedlings. So the when, uh, once you put on a greater amount of water tea, pure water tea without any with the addition of water, then the seeds are very much easily to grow. Um, instead of its normal or ordinary number of days that it will mature and grow into seedlings, it will be much earlier that they'll grow. And I have here the bitter gourd. Since I only put um, one, uh, one row for the trellis for going up, it didn't produce itself. It didn't grow stems. So... We concluded that, or I concluded that um, the uh, bitter gourd is very much sensitive on when uh, their, their, I think their tendrils, they try to touch, touch on things, but if they can, um, on night, maybe on night, because that's the time they, they um, secretly grow <laughs> on night time. I think they are very sensitive when they can find out of something to hold but if they can find on something to hold then they will just continue to grow and look for something that they can hold on and when they can they can sense a lot of here <laughs> because I fix this one I make it um, have shorter gaps um, smaller squares unlike before that are very big ones and just hanging um, trellis but now it's very much much more fixed much more firmer so as you can see the bitter gourd when it reach into its reaches the top point top part it then it senses that it can hold a lot of um, how do you say that? It can hold on something and it's very much comfortable so it it then allows itself to stamp here only from the top and make a, make a canopy. So this is the best way of making your trellis. Make just one string for going up and then try to fix on top that it will be like a mat. 
there will be a flat surface for the stems to spread on like they will they will try to lie itself so i guess that's here <laughs> i'll end my vlog here it's been 10 minutes so i'll be cutting the okra i'll be pruning it with this so i will not be uh, i will just cut the portion i will just let you see when it's already done okay so there we go i've already cut the um, the old parts the mature parts uh, as you see many bugs have been attacking it again because i have not watered it regularly and i have not um, showered it sprinkled it with water from on top and underneath of the leaves that's where usually the mini bugs go and here and here on the soles of the new small leaves on the very top so i have pruned three stems I, yeah, right. and i just remain the shorter stems i remain only one stems for each um trunk this one so that i can allow air to let it breathe and i will sprinkle i can sprinkle it with water i can control it with water and like those the tall ones that i have to reach for it it's very hard for me to sprinkle and so that this plant can grow uh, it will have enough light to get the expose to it so i have there the pepper and my bell peppers i don't know it's still trying to it's still struggling but i've been i have not been watering it also for a week just a water tea once a week because the rain is really heavy and very unpredictable i've also here one bell pepper here and as you can see the the lime it's leafing it's it's the second time it's been leafing because another lime butterfly had had eaten it again and it's the second time from the from those last time that there are uh, there were two lime uh, butterfly butterflies right, that's the long bell peppers i mean long chili peppers the long one the sword ones so it's the swords i don't know the the its name in <laughs> specific name and there as you can see in my other vlog that the this is um I forgot um I really forgot it uh, this is insulin insulin and in my last vlog with it that I I featured that there are on its tip of the each branch uh, each trunk there are uh, there is a new rooting uh, seedling or there are there are many and the trunk tries to tries to fall on the ground and when it finds another and or, or when it touches the ground then the that roots of the new new plants that have grown on the tip will be able to root itself on the ground and it, and it will form another insulin set of insulin plants, right? And that's how it is very unique. It's very nice. Almost, I think there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six trunks already that have fallen and tried to, and is trying to look for something to root its new grown plants <laughs> I'm being very redundant okay so that's all for the vlog of today thank you and I hope you and if you like the video click on the like button and also turn on the